Hello everyone, um, my name's Charlotte and I'm the Senior Care Worker at the Rabbit Residence Rescue and today I'm going to do a video on correct procedures to follow when clipping your bunny's nails. So um, I have our glamorous assistant Snooky here and his nails are actually quite, quite an easy cut. Um, he has um, sort of your stereotypical nail so it is clear where you need to cut and then he's got his bloodline at the bottom there also known as the quick um, so what we're going to do today is we're going to use a set of nail clippers um, you can get two different sort of sizes and shapes um, these are the ones that I'm going to use today um, but you can also get a scissor like um, nail clipper as well um, personally I prefer these ones because they seem to be sharper and they seem to be more accurate than the um, scissors but it's all down to personal preference um, they can um, be obtained from any pet store um, I think some supermarkets now sell them but you must um, get the ones suitable for small animals because they are smaller um, the dog clippers tend to be quite large and they do take off a lot more than you want to take off on a bunny's um, nail so Snooky here I'm hoping is going to be a good boy. Um, so, for the front claws, what we're going to do is I tend to like to keep the bunny um, sort of on their front um, and cut the claws accordingly. So, you can cut the claws right down to the bloodline, obviously, being careful not to actually cut the bloodline itself. Um, but what you can also do is if you have a bunny with really long nails, what you can do is cut a little bit off each week um, so that the bloodline slowly recedes so you have a bunny with a, a shorter nail. But what we're going to do with Snooky here is I'm going to pop him down and I'm just going to hold his foot here. I'm going to get our nail clippers and we're just going to take the ends of his nails off. And what this does is it just makes sure that the nails are kept short and the bloodline is not too far up the nail and this should be done I recommend doing it at least once a month but obviously if your rabbit's nails when you get them are quite long I'd recommend doing them a little bit at a time once a week so the bloodline does recede but Snooky's nails here are actually not too bad today and we're going to do the other side. So obviously make sure that your bunny is comfortable. Snooky is quite a shy bunny in, in himself, but he's generally quite a good boy. So I'm just going to rest him on my hand. Oh, it's okay, puppy. Obviously, if your bunny is getting quite stressed, um, just be gentle, be patient with them. But you can also do a thing called a bunny burrito. So it means that you can sort of wrap your bunny up in a towel so that it restricts their movement but obviously make sure that your bunny can still breathe and its head is not covered so there we go and what you can do is generally clip the nails whilst they're in the burrito and it makes it easier for the back nails as well but Snooky here is generally quite a good boy so we're going to unwrap him there but I'd always have a towel at hand if you can so what we're going to do is we're going to rest Snooky on my arm and this is what you do. Do not pop the bunny on its back. Um, that causes increased cortisol levels and it makes the bunny more stressed. So what we do is we rest them on the arm and we clip the nails as we go. Obviously, sometimes if a bunny has black claws, it can be quite hard to see the bloodline. In those cases, I would recommend you taking a little bit off at a time. Um, obviously, if the bunny's claws aren't too long, a little bit isn't going to hurt. Um, if you do cut the bloodline in a cloth, don't panic. There are products out there that you can have to stop the bleeding quite quickly. Um, you can get commercial wound powders, but also cornflour works quite well as a clotting agent on the end of the claw. And there are chemicals that you can get from the vets as well. You can ask about those um, when you go next time. 
um, but it's always important to stop the bleeding as quickly as possible. Um, most of the bloodlines in the claws will be a similar length um, unless there is a deformed claw um, on your bunny. So you can sort of use that as a guide. But obviously I would suggest if you're not very confident with it, just take a little bit off the ends. So the back feet can be a little bit more difficult. So instead of holding the bunny on its back, what I like to do is sit them up on my arm like so. And I just take a little bit off of the claw. If you have a wriggly bunny, yet again, what I do is I do a bunny burrito and you sort of hold them up like this and just make sure that one foot is out at the bottom at all times. Depending on the arm that you are cutting with, you may want to um, sw switch arms if you are not confident doing it. But there we go. That's his back claws and his front claws done. Um, if you do have any questions on nail clipping in general, please do contact us via our email. Um, you can also look on our website and we are more than happy to give you advice on any aspects of your bunny's health and handling. Um, it's always useful to be able to know how to cut your rabbit's claws yourself at home. But if you are not confident at all in doing so, or you do have a very sprightly bunny that does not want to keep still, vets will do it as well during their health checks. But please make sure you go to a rabbit bunny, uh, rabbit savvy vet. Thank you so much for watching.